one place that the, the Iowa Supreme Court was very, very clear. They decided this case based on equal protection under the law. Uh, they were very clear to go on to talk about civil marriage and to talk about the difference between religious and civil marriage, recognizing that this isn't going to change any religious institution's ability to continue to marry who they want to whether they and whether they don't want to marry some people. Um, in fact, they said, the sanctity of all religious marriages celebrated in the future will have the same meaning as those celebrated in the past. The only difference is civil marriage will now take on a new meaning that reflects a more complete understanding of equal protection under the law. It's very, very simple and very straightforward what the court, what the court said. Again, they're not going to, um, religious groups, churches, synagogues, mosques, are not going to be required uh, or denied the ability to pick and choose whom they are going to marry. Um, and furthermore, uh, churches and, and other religious groups are already marrying gay and lesbian people, except those couples weren't afforded the same rights, protections, and benefits that the state was giving to straight couples.